New tonight, marine biologists are on high alert as they monitor the ongoing red tide bloom and the impact it's having on dolphins in the Bay Area. Wildlife experts tell ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck they worry about the bloom's long-term impact on one of Florida's most beloved animals. Tour boats like this one have a dolphin sighting guarantee. If you don't see them, you can sail again for free. The tour boat captains tell me with the red tide, those lovable mammals are in increasing danger. Captain Jack Steves at Hubbard's Marina prides himself on creating memorable moments. Reactions of all, all the people, especially the little kids. And dolphins sure love to put on a show. Oh my gosh! Watch, they're gonna do it again. <laughs> About 60 minutes into our trip, we spotted an entire pod of dolphins mating. A good sign for Captain Jack. Yet he worries what will happen if this red tide bloom continues for months with warm waters fueling the toxic algae. Several years ago when uh, we experienced a red tide, we would go through uh, many trips in a row where we didn't see dolphin, um, which is very unusual, but that hasn't been the case so far this time. Biologists with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have responded to six stranded dolphins within the past month. And while it's too soon to directly link those sick and dead dolphins to red tide, they say that's much higher than average. Back in 2018 and 2019, they found 180 dolphins were killed by the toxic algae blooms. The words can't describe it, you know? It's horrible. That's why Kelly Martin at Clearwater Marine Aquarium says it's crucial we all look out for animals acting unusual. The other way that it can impact dolphins is actually through inhalation or respiration. They're air breathers as are turtles and manatees. Dolphins don't breathe underwater, but they're often impacted by red tide by eating fish with toxins. They tend to act a little different than normal, swim erratically, maybe breathe heavier than normal, expire more forcefully. Um, any of those things might be signs or symptoms that something could be going wrong. For Captain Jack, every dolphin sighting these days is reassuring. We're lucky that they are still here because it's obviously affecting their food source. So it, they're here today. Who knows if they're going to be here tomorrow? FWC says if you see a sick or dead dolphin, manatee or sea turtle, they want to hear from you right away. Reporting in Pinellas County, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.